All right, Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Kahala Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's continuing in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in all fear. Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. Those that abide in the shadow of the Almighty, which are the men who have the secrets of the Most High through the mercy of the Most High, allowing us to have those secrets through Yahweh Shai, and that us are the hopeful elect, those that follow the light of the Most High, or the path that the Most High have given us, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, because two thirds of our people, regardless of several teachings and several years of teaching, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone mainly, two thirds of our people are not going to wake up. Why? Because the Most High have sent them a strong delusion, as found here in Second Thessalonians, chapter two, and. I'm going to start at verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs of lying wonders, verse 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. All right. And the only ones that can receive the love of the truth is in Hebrew Israelite. All right. No other nation, only a Hebrew Israelite, which consists of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans on down to the so-called Mexicans. They are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. All right. And they are the only ones that can receive the love of, of the truth from the Most High through Yahweh Shai. All right. Which is being up under this um, shadow of protection. All right. This hedge of protection. Verse 11, it says, for this cause, the most high shall send them strong delusions that they may believe a lie. And two thirds of our people don't believe in their true salvation. They don't believe in their true um, savior, which is Yahweh Shai, which sprang out of the tribe of Judah, which makes him a so-called modern day black man. They believe in the image of Cesare Bogier or Caesar Bogier, which in this modern world, is named Jesus Christ, all right, which is a, a, a false um, deity, which really is Satan, all right? And our people have been um, up under that strong delusion that the Most High have sent through the deceiver, all right, the so-called modern-day white man, starting with their top-tier elites, because the top-tier elites have the masses under their uh, deceptive uh, trick in believing that the Savior of the Bible, the image of him is a so-called modern-day white man. All right. That's the image the world gives you. Let's look up this word delusion, because that's what those that believe um, in uh, the image of Cesare Bogier as being Jesus Christ. You are up under a strong delusion. All right. Starting with two thirds of our people, because this love of the truth is only for the Israelites and those that reject the love of the Mosai through Yahweh Shai. All right. You have uh, been sent a strong delusion. Here's their word delusion in the Strong's G 4106 Plana Strong's G 4106 Plane Plane All right, Plane and the definition says a wandering, a straying about one led astray from the right way Rome's hither and thither, all right? And that's our people. They are being tossed to and fro because they believe that they're Kemet, okay? They they believe that they are five percenters. They believe that they're Rastas, all right? They believe that they're um, these white Christians, all right? Which the Hebrew Israelites are the Christians by blood, all right? We are the anointed ones by blood through Yahweh Shai, the anointed one, the Amashiach, which makes us the Amashiachim, all right? Those that believe, okay, it says a wandering, a straying about 
one led astray from the right way. The right way is following Yahweh Shah, which is the light. All right. It says, Rome's hither and, and thither. They are tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Our people are. All right. It says mental screen. All right. Their, their, their spirit is, is screened off of the right path. All right. Which our people have that strong delusion, which this is sent from the most high. That's why this is a scary thing. All right. It's a, it's, it's a true um, blessing. And this is mercy from the most high for us to have this light in this gross darkness. All right. It says error, wrong option related to moral morals or religion. All right. Error which shows itself in action, a wrong mode of acting, error that which leads into error, deceit, or fraud. And that's the state that our people are in. Those that believe that they are everything ex except for a Hebrew Israelite, all right? A child of God, okay? Uh, Yasha Allah, he a prince of the power, okay? Those that don't believe that, that's among the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is why. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11 again. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions that they shall believe a lie. All right? You, you are uh, led away. You are, you are wandering. All right? You are tossed to and fro by every way in the doctrine. And those that have mercy, all right, which is faith from the Most High to believe in Yahweh Shai, According to the book of what Ephesians 2 and 8, faith is a gift, all right, sent from the Most High, that we believe in Yahweh Shai. We um, are following the light, and we are not under that strong delusion, which we were up under that strong delusion at one point, Ephesians uh, 2. Um, matter of fact, let's get it. Uh, Ephesians chapter 2. In verse 1, and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. And those that are not under the strong delusion anymore, the Most High have quickened you, all right, through Yahweh Shah, all right, Yahweh Shah dying and shedding his blood. Lord willing, we be a part of the ones we endure to the end. We are the quickened ones, all right. We are not under that strong delusion anymore, all right. We have been made alive. We are not dead. Quicken means to be made alive. Now we are made alive because we follow the light of Yahweh Shah, but those that still think that they are Kemet, those that, that still follow Christianity here in this current 2019, the year of Karagma, the year of the microchip, all right, you are, are, are under a strong delusion from the Most High, all right, and this is a scary thing, okay, that's why we must endure and pray to the Most High that he never take that protective hedge away from us. Verse 2, it says, where, where in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, and that's the ones that are in the truth. That's why it's so scary. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now work within the children of disobedience and the ultimate children of disobedience is the uh, Edomites, the children of Esau Edom. All right. The modern day Edomites, which are the so-called modern day white man. All right. Starting with their top tier elites, those that are in power, come, that, that comes in the form of the world bankers. OK, those are the ultimate children of, of disobedience. But. Two thirds of our people are also the children of disobedience. Why? Because the Most High have sent them a strong delusion. All right. But we once was a part of that um, number. All right. But now we don't walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. All right. Now we walk according to the power of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shah. All right. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, which is mercy from the Most High. All right. So let's jump back. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11, one more time. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions that they shall believe a lie. And these are the ones that rejected their true powers, all right, uh, back in the ancient times. All right, they're just coming back to fulfill their lot because the scripture says the Most High love of none that what? Dwell with, um, dwell with wisdom, okay? So if the Most High didn't give you uh, that wisdom, all right, didn't didn't light your torch here in this gross darkness. All right, the Most High don't love you, and the Most High don't love you two thirds. That's why you're not going to get this. All right, a person could teach, could show you in the scriptures. All right, give you all type of references. All right, but you're still not going to get it because the Most High has sent you a strong delusion. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, and verse twenty-eight, and it says. For the Most High love of none, 
but him that dwelleth with wisdom. All right. And the way that you receive wisdom is through the mercies of the most high. And if you don't have the wisdom to understand that you're a Hebrew Israelite, you are uh, being deceived. You are up under a strong delusion and you are not up under a cloud or a shroud of protection. All right. Those that uh, abide up under the secret of the most high, which that's Psalms 91. Let's get it. Psalms 91. And verse one, and it says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. And those that have this uh, knowledge, wisdom and understanding are abiding under the shadow of the almighty uh, of the almighty. We are in that secret place because two thirds don't understand when we teach. All right. Why? Because they are up under a strong delusion. We are up under the, the shroud of protection, the secret place of the most high. All right. We have received wisdom. All right. We have received that love from the most high, which is receiving knowledge, wisdom and understanding and faith in Yahweh Shai. All right. Which is that light. Verse two, it says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him. Will I trust? And that's the ones that are not up under the, the, the delusion that the most High have sent upon two thirds of our people. We have received mercy to trust in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and know that these are the powers uh, of the universe. These are the powers of, of all time. These are the powers that created time and everything that's, that's created in existence. All right. Mainly you. Okay. And, and we have fear of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. But two thirds of our people, the Most High, have put them under a strong delusion. All right. And, and later on, they are set up to be destroyed. Why? Because they don't have a protective hedge uh, round about them. All right. Which is this knowledge, wisdom and understanding that secret place. All right. Let's jump from there. OK. And let's get. The book of Genesis. All right. Because I speak of that secret place. All right. Now, even. Um. The wicked brother, okay, of, of our forefather, righteous Abel, knew that he had fucked up when he did the things that he did, such as uh, making a, a, a wicked sacrifice to the Most High, all right, and uh, creating the first murder or committing the first murder by killing our our forefather, righteous Abel, all right. He knew he had fucked up because he knew that he was up under the, the, the shadow of protection of the Almighty, all right. So let's get that Genesis chapter four. He knew he had messed up, right? Because he said this statement, Genesis four. And I'm going to start at verse 13. And Cain said unto the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, my punishment is greater than I can bear. All right. He knew he had messed up. Behold, behold me. Look, thou has driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from thy face shall I be hid? So Cain is saying, now I'm going to be hid from your face. I'm going to be hid from your protection. All right. Your face represent knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High because we had, we see uh, 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 spiritually the face of the Most High because we have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The Most High have given us that love, which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So Cain knew he had messed up when he said, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that every one that find me shall slay me. All right. But the point that uh, Lord willing uh, uh, is edifying through the spirit, Cain even knew that he was up under the protection of the Most High. He knew he had uh, uh, messed up when he committed those sins against the Most High. He knew that he was being driven out up from up under that protective hedge. All right. When we go to the book of Job chapter one and verse 10, because even Satan knew that the most high had put a protective hedge about Job before uh, the most high considered Job unto Satan. All right. And just like Job had a protective hedge about him, the elect here in 2019 have a protective hedge about them. All right. As long as they're up under the, the shadow of the almighty or in the secret place of the most high. All right. Just like Cain knew he had messed up and he was getting kicked out from up under the secret place of the Most High. All right. That's why he's the adversary now. All right. 
Job uh, chapter 1 and verse 10, has not thou made an hedge about him, see, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side, have thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and, the, and his substance is increased in the land. So let's look up this word hedge. And this is Satan speaking to the Most High about Job. Strong's H7753, the word hedge, to hedge or fence up or about, to fence about, hedge up. So Job had a, 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 a protective uh, wall, so to speak, around about him, a protective wall that the Most High put about him. And that's what we have, all right? Because while we are not up under that strong delusion that the Most High have put on two-thirds of our people, all right? And that protective hedge is this knowledge wisdom and understanding all right this is um the book of psalms 91 again all right he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty and that shadow of the almighty is knowledge wisdom and understanding which shall be our protection all right this is Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And that's why we are up under a shadow of protection. All right. Just like Job had upon him. Why? Because we have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High. We have the love from the Most High upon us. All right. The mercy of the Most High upon us to believe in Yahweh Shah, having that gift of faith. All right. Uh, pursuant to the book of Ephesians 2 and 8. And that's going to be the stability of thy times, which are the times of Jacob's trouble, the times that are at hand. And two-thirds of our people, which are under that strong delusion, is not going to have that shroud of protection. All right? And strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And that's right. The strength of salvation is Yahweh Shai, which is that light that we're walking in, believing in Yahweh Shai. All right? Being up under that shroud of protection, the secret place of the Most High. The fear of the Lord, the Most High, is his treasure. And we fear the Most High because we know he's a terrible demon-like power. All right? And we pray that we have salvation in his son, Yahweh Shai, in the day of judgment. Lord willing, I pray that it's been edifying the elect here in 2019, the year of Karagma, are under the shadow of the Almighty. All right? The, that shroud of protection, that hedge of protection. Shalom.